Hello children, hope you are all doing good. I am your social teacher Aisha. Children, in previous classes we studied about the our solar system, right? So in this class we are going to study about the neighbors of the earth. Okay, along with our earth, what is all it is there are surrounding of the earth, we are going to study in this class. Neighbors means what children? One who stays next to us, right? Same way, even earth has of the neighbors. So we are going to study about it right now. Okay, first of all, our earth is not alone. We have heard about the solar system. We have studied about the solar system. How many planets are there in our solar system? There are totally eight planets. And what is the center of the solar system? If planets are revolving around the solar system, what is in between our solar system? Yes, there is a sun in between the solar system. And apart from the sun, there are other heavenly bodies also, right? So we are going to study about that particular thing now. First, we are going to study about Sun. sun is the center of the solar system. Okay, children, sun is the center of our, in our solar system. First of all, we have to learn that sun is also a big star. Actually, sun is only a star, but sun is also a big star which produces its own heat and light. Sun is formed nearly around 4,500 million of years ago. Sun is formed nearly 4,500 millions of years ago okay and sun from later sun was then sun and its family came into the existence okay but you should know that the sun has formed before 4500 millions of years ago okay it has been formed with the gases okay for we will learn we will be learning in your further classes first of all you have the earth is not alone in the sky yes earth is not alone in the sky sun and its family also stays in the earth and we have the it is the sun which all the planets are revolving around the sun. Okay, please let me take on page number 199. Okay, lesson number 3. The neighbors of earth. Our earth is not alone in the sky. During the day, the sun shines brightly in the sky. It seems to rise in the east and sets in the west. During the night time, we see the moon in the sky. The sun and the moon are the neighbors of our earth in the sky. Right children? So, earth is not alone in the sky. We have other seven planets also. Earth is the third planet. Sun is in the between. All the planets will revolve around the sun. Apart from sun, we have moon and we have stars. Sun shines brightly in the day. Moon takes the light from the sun to shine at night and stars have their own light. We, stars have their own light. Okay, we will see that stars are small, small from our naked eyes, but stars are very big. Okay, so right now, sun, earth is not alone in the sky. Earth has its family, earth has its neighbors also. One such neighbor is the sun. If there is no sun, we are not able to grow also. Right. Sun. The sun is the nearest star to our earth. It is at the center of solar system. It is a huge ball of very hot gases. It is over 100 times wider than the earth. It looks small because it is far away from the earth. It has its own heat and light. We on the earth get heat and light from the sun. Sun is the nearest star to the earth. All the planets move around the sun. The sun is important to us because it gives us heat and light. Plants prepare food in presence of sunlight. It is an important source of energy. The energy obtained from the sun is called solar energy. It can be used to cook, to light up the streets and night to run the cars. So, what is the sun? The sun is a huge ball of fire of the ball of fire which is made up of gases. One such gas is helium. Sun is a big ball of fire. Okay, and it is made up of gases. One such gas is helium. Okay, one such gas is helium. Why do we need sun? If there is no sun, can you see bright side? Can you see daylight? No, because of the sun, only we are seeing the daylight. Sun is a, such a person, sun is a 
changes the direction. You know, the earth will revolve around its around the sun. It has its own rotation and rotation. When earth rotates from the sun, what will happen? It will become a dark. So what will be there? At so, night, night time also, we have some sources of light. This moon. Okay, for the weather about the moon. Okay. So sun shines brightly during the day, and and uh, if it is a night time, obviously it has earth has rotated. Earth has rotated. It's a different position. So earth is the center in our solar system. Yes, earth is the center of our solar system, and all the planets will revolve around the sun. Sun is a huge ball of very hot gases. One such gas is helium. Okay, so it is a huge ball. It has a you can say it's a bright too. Just imagine in summer season. If at suppose at twelve o'clock, it is at noon. Okay, if you step outside, how much hot it will be there? How much hot? How much sunny it will be there? Imagine earth is so far, sun is so far, very very far. Why is sun is so far? You sun is so far because it is very far away. It is a third planet, and very billions of distances there from sun to the earth. Imagine just in a mid noon, if you feel that it is very hot, and if you go near, you can't go near by sun. Imagine how much hot the sun is there. How much uh, the energy the sun rays are there. Okay, children. Now imagine if we are staying in some, though we are staying on the earth, though earth is the sun is so far, we are feeling so much heat. Imagine if we are staying in a planet like Mercury or Venus, how much heat can we tolerate that heat? No, right. The sun is made up of big ball of fire, big ball of fire. So it is a big ball of fire which is made up of many gases. Okay, what happens? The sun is not there. We cannot grow. We will be put in some sun also, right? We cannot grow. So sun is. For first of all, we need sun to grow because if there is no sun, we won't get enough vitamins. We plants, how does plants get up their own food? How does plants prepare their own food? Plants prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is nothing but that where the plants get their light from the sun and they start to prepare their own food. Right? If sun is not there, they will not be able to grow. They won't have enough vitamins to grow. Plants cannot prepare their own food. We will not be having the daylight. And there is another thing. We are going. There is a solar energy. What is solar energy? Have you heard about the solar water heaters? It may be upon your terrace in your terraces, right? What does that does? That from the energy, that from the sun energy is only sun rays only. That water will get heated and will come to your shelters, right? So sun is also providing us solar energy. What is solar energy? The energy, the energy which is getting from the sun is solar energy. And apart from solar heaters, we have solar cookers also. They are the cars which run with the help of sunlight also. Okay. What is the meaning of solar energy? Solar energy is the energy where we will get the rays, light from the sun to prepare their own food also. And we have seen many of the houses you have seen that one. It may be in your house also. You may have solar water. We have to solar water heaters, right? What happens in summer season? The rays will fall on the solar water heater. The water will get heated. Then it will come to the shelves. Good. So this is about the importance of the sun. I repeat, earth is not alone in the sky. Sun shines brightly in the sky during the day. And when earth rotates, we will find food. And the other countries, opposite countries, will get the sunlight. Sun is the center of our solar system. Sun is the center of our solar system, and all the planets will revolve around the sun. Sun is a huge ball of very hot gases. There is not one, just there are many hot gases. Sun is formed around 4,500 million of years ago. Okay? It gives us heat and light. Yes, sun gives us heat and light. If there is no heat and light, plants and leaves cannot survive. Okay? Plants cannot grow the food. If plants cannot grow the food, can we, can we stay alive? We will be starving. No, right? So, we need sun, plants will have their own food with the help of sun, which is a photosynthesis. Then there is solar energy, solar energy is nothing but us. Uh, with the help of energy, with the help of sun's energy, we have to get our sun is full of water will be heated, our solar car, solar cooker is there, cars are there, which will run with the help of solar energy. Okay, children, so we is to solar energy. Next, we will come for moon. Mm. 
the moon is round like a ball it is the closest sorry moon is round like a sun it is the closest neighbor of the earth the moon is much smaller to the earth than the sun and it is also much smaller than the sun but the sun and the moon appears at to us at the same size it looks big due to the less distance of the earth the moon is a satellite of the earth the moon takes about 27 days and 8 hours to complete one revolution around the earth it also takes the same time to rotate on its own axis because of this we always see the same side of the moon the moon does not have heat or light of its own it reflects the light which it receives from the sun water was discovered on the moon in september 2009 but there is no air so no life was possible on the moon so moon
Okay, why well, sun becomes bigger, 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 bigger? But this is from the naked light of sun and moon are same. No, because it is very far, so we are able to see the sun and moon. But if we see in the reality, they both are different. The sun is very big compared to moon. Moon is small, but sun is very big. Okay, sun stays in one place and doesn't move anywhere. Earth and our satellites revolve around the sun. If sun is staying in one place, how the earth revolves around the sun, right? Same way, moon revolves around the earth. Okay, and moon changes its shape, children. However, the earth's movement is going on. Moon changes its shape. Earth will be rotating. Earth will be revolving, rotating. Same way. However, the earth is rotating. The moon changes. Every day you can see earth moon changes its shape little by little, little by little. Only one single shape every day. Like how sun is around. Same way, the uh, moon won't be there. Moon will be changing its shape. Okay. So for revolution, one revolution will take around twenty-seven days to eight hours. Okay, twenty-seven days and eight hours. Moon does not have lights of its own. No, moon doesn't have lights of its own. It borrows the lights from the sun. Uh, what was discovered on two thousand nine September two thousand nine? But due to the lack of the air, there was not at all. There was no air on the moon, so there is no life possible on the moon. Children, so I have told you about the sun and moon, the neighbors of the earth. In next session, I am going to continue with the next chapter as well as take the exercises. Okay. Meanwhile, please go to our textbook if you have any doubts. We will meet in our interactive session. Bye bye.